Hello guys, this is lesson number 12 out of 17 from my newest course about Inertia View and Laravel and this will be about deleting the record. So from the table, the delete button, confirmation and then delete. And in here you will find out how to post the request to the server without form helper. Before that, in other lessons, we were using form helper to submit the form. And now the delete button is actually submitting the form as well, but it will be done a bit differently. Let's take a look. Now let's implement the delete functionality. So delete button here on the right hand side. And first on the back end, let's implement that as destroy method, which is part of route resource. So public function destroy. And the parameter will be according to route model binding post model. So inside of that, we do post delete and then redirect back similarly to this redirect route of post index with message post deleted successfully, right? So we are ready on the back end and on the front end, we need, of course, to have confirmation index view. Let's create another column without any styling. So heading and then here we will copy and paste the TD and instead of this, we will have a button. And here I will again paste it from my notes with Tailwind styles. So uppercase button of delete. For now, let's save and see how it looks. If we refresh our table, we have the delete here, which doesn't do anything yet. And we need to define the click here. Click will be a form submit. It could be a form submit if we did that in Laravel directly. So delete request to the route resource web. And in inertia, we could create a form here using the form helper. But in this case, I wanted to show you another way how to submit the form without the helper, because in here we need to have a delete request. So manual delete request with ID as a parameter, instead of creating a lot of forms here on one page, we will do it manually. So let's create a method destroy post ID and destroy will be defined here at the bottom. So we will do setup and const destroy will be a method with a parameter of ID. And inside of that method, we will have if JavaScript confirm of are you sure like this, then we perform the delete request to the backend. And for that, instead of using you form, we will do inertia which will be automatically added from inertia, JS inertia, this. So it's not inertia view three. Keep in mind, inertia is not view JS specific. So there's inertia as a global thing, and then there's adapter for the view JS. So in this case, we import the global inertia, the common inertia, which has delete method. There's also post method, put method, get method, and others. In this case, we need to have delete to the URL of destroy, or we can use route in here again with help of Ziggy helper posts destroy and parameter of that will be ID, which is from here like this. And we need to return that destroy method to be used in the template destroy. We save build successful and let's try it out. So we refresh the page and let's delete the record with ID one. Remember delete confirmation. If we click cancel, nothing happens. But if we click OK, as you can see, post deleted successfully ID two, and it all again happened without page refresh a single page application. So assets weren't reloaded, CSS and JS weren't reloaded. So this is how we can perform the delete. And this is how you can process the form manually. If for some reason you don't want to use form helper from inertia.